Hello beautiful Virgos, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, glad you stopped by, hope everyone's doing well. We're getting ready to do a Virgo in love reading, so let's take a look and see what the overall energies are. No, Virgo, what's been going on? You're all up in your head, you feel like all eyes are upon you, like you have no time to yourself, you have remorse and regret, you're really worried. You're trying to figure your way out of a situation in which you feel as though a love interest has lied to you. You might not have confronted them yet. So very awkward energy, Virgo, very awkward. So let's see what your person of interest is thinking about the situation. Okay, ooh, the moon card. You don't know, there's been no contact. I don't believe you've had contact with your person. It's very, really weird energy. It's Pisces, it's Seven of Swords, is Aquarius, and Gemini. So let's see what your person, how they view you. They view you as sad, disappointed. That's like somebody like took off at night. Like, honey, I'll be back after I go to get milk at the store. Virgo, what happened here? There's something very mysterious happening. Okay, so what is the what your person feels in their heart space for you, Virgo? What does your person feel in their heart space? The tower. Whoa, this is a heavy duty reading. I do wanna tell you that we'll do another reading at the end. I'm not gonna leave you in a negative state of mind, okay? So we will do at least, if this looks like a disaster of a reading, I'll do an additional mini reading for you so that you can resonate with something, hopefully. All right, the world card. This is how your person feels about what's going on. They feel like it's over, that whatever you did together, it was very successful when it was happening, but they, they view it as you know a completed cycle and a portal to the next cycle. Aquarius energy, you know, for the world card, Saturn energy. We have the hanged man. What's going on between the energy between the two of you that's hidden? The hanged man. I mean, nobody's talking. This is like a stalemate. What kind of a stalemate? But it looks as though your person feels as though the foundation of the relationship fell apart. The Seven of Swords tells me that there was some major dishonesty and the moon is ghosting, five of cut, wow. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. What is spirit advising, Virgo? Temperance, stay calm, cool, collected, keep your wits about you. Spirit is telling you that this relationship could come back together and it'll be kind of very unexpected. Okay, so I think that there's a lot we don't know with that moon card. All right, so what is your outlook for the week? What is your outcome for this reading for the second week of July? Four of Wands, okay. None of this is logical. <laughs> so we're going to dig in here. I'm going to go to the table shot, and we're going to go ahead and clarify all these cards for you, Virgo. There we go. Okay. Can you see? Let's see. Do we have? Good. Okay, good. So we're going to go ahead, Virgo, and see what the heck is going on with the Nine of Swords. That is remorse, regret, sleepless nights, worry, feeling really almost terrified. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Virgo in love? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Virgo in love. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like many of you, this is you, Virgo, and it's reversed. So it does look as though your sense of balance in your life has been turned upside down. Some of you may have lost a job. You may be in a situation where this person did not come through for you. The relationship fell apart, maybe under very mysterious terms, and all of this sudden is what I'm seeing. So Tough energy, for sure. What does the Seven of Swords represent? Ooh, Leo energy. You might have been involved with the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The Leo energy is usually energy. We're coming into Leo season in terms of Venus and Mars. The Three of Cups, this was a friendship, possibly a love, a lover slash friend. Okay, so... Tell us something else more about the moon card. Yeah, they were a lover. 
There we go. Clarity, clarity. It looks like friends with benefits is what I would say here. The five of cups, why is it here? The two of cups is reversed. Singlehood revert is reversed. Being really successfully single as well as your relationship. Wheel of Fortune is reversed. The timing is not good right now for, for building a foundation. I have the Queen of Cups. Very, very emotional energy. The Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The Ten of Coins is reversed. So it looks like there's a marriage and a lover. It looks like there's a lot of love. But it does look like somebody possibly went back to a marriage after having an affair. I'm not quite sure. It's really very unclear. But we will see what we will see. The Emperor card. Somebody is playing it very cool, very strategically. Tell me Virgo's person of interest, who they came to ask about. What's their energy here? Ooh, your person's wounded, Virgo. And here you are, Virgo, Hermit. You've ghosted them, or you're not talking to them, or you haven't seen them. They're wounded. Both of you are being strategic. Both of you are just trying to look at things from another perspective. I don't think the two of you are speaking currently. Let's see what we have here for reconciliation is a temperance card. Somebody wants to come back. It is, you know, that is what Spirit is recommending, is that both of you not make a rash judgment about what happened. Ooh, the devil card. Oof. Oof. When I get the emperor card and I get the devil card, and I get this ghosting, it um, makes it really hard for this to work out. Why is the devil card here, spirit? I keep dropping cards. Okay. Ah, uh, juggling two. There we go. There's the answer. Somebody was married, juggling two people. And here's the deal. Spirit is saying to be open. The marriage may have ended. The lover's relationship ended. There's a lot of chaos here. The marriage is upside down. The lovers are apart. Virgo, Virgo, you're going to have to tell me what's going on in the comments, please. The Justice card. Okay, so to me, when I get the Justice card, usually that is the end of a marriage because it's the first step in a new beginning, right? Okay, Judgment card. There we go. Justice is usually the initiation of paperwork. Uh, for a marriage. Judgment card is usually the final dissolution of marriage. The Eight of Coins, and that's a lot of Virgo energy. Virgo, you're all over this. So your life has really changed, and I feel as though you dropped out, you dropped away from a lover to try to handle a marriage situation. For those with whom it resonates, great. Otherwise, you could be the lover. Your lover may have been married, and it could be vice versa. So let's see what we have here for the advice of spirit. What is going on here in terms of this tower card and this relationship? What do you advise for a go? Willing release. Let go. Okay. Oops. Let go. Let go is what spirit is saying. That your the relationship, whatever one you came to ask about. It's saying release willingly. You're in between a, a lover and a marriage, a you know, marriage and a lover. It really says that you have to let go of at least one of these relationships. Yep, let it go yet again. So the advice from spirit is pretty, pretty specific. Okay. So I do want to look and see what the energy is here with the Heart of the Fairy Oracle. We need to get clarification. This story is pretty confusing. So tell us, Spirit, why the Nine of Swords is here for Virgo energy. Why are they having remorse and regret? 
Did Virgo do anything that turned their life upside down? If so, please reveal the message we need to see for our Virgo friends, the captive man, okay? So the captive man is a man who is can't leave. Basically, this is a person who um, is usually married to someone else, uh, especially with the two of coins down here. You know, and it's sort of like, well, I've got kids, I've got a career, I can't really leave. I don't really have a choice in the matter. So the storyline here that has you all up in your head, Virgo, is that it's either you or your partner, but the storyline looks like it, it might be you. It really might be you. The captive man, though, I must tell you, always has... It's almost like the captive man sort of likes being captive, for lack of a better way to say it. You know, the captive man is someone who wants to feel wanted, even if it sort of suffer, you know, even if it's kind of a role of suffering. The feeling is, is that you really can't leave because otherwise you wouldn't look like a hero to your family. You know, oof, this is really tough stuff. The shapeshifter. Virgo, whoever this is, whether it's you or your lover, you you appear different at different times. It could be both of you also. But what we're seeing here is a relationship and a life that perhaps has unraveled in a lot of ways, or at least a lover, or at least a marriage, one or the other, both, all of the above. But it, since you're still in this captive mode, the thief, yeah, somebody, somebody took advantage here. You know, spirit is saying, let go, let go, let go. What does a thief card mean? Let's look at Moonology and see if we can get the thief card here. I'm going to also look at the shadow deck and see what's going on. This is a complicated reading, and I don't want to leave everybody sort of like, what? You know, for those that are living through this, you know, it's, it would be a tough reading to watch for sure if you're in active right now. You're very close to achieving your goal. All right, so now we need to know what the thief is. So let me get the Lenormand deck. Tell us about the thief card, please. Tell us about the thief card. Why is it here? Why is it here? What does it represent? A tower. Okay, so in the Lenormand deck, the tower and clover are new growth. So to me, what this looks like is that perhaps a lover stole someone away. Whoever the lover is, stole the married partner away and convinced them to get a divorce or have a beginning that includes a divorce situation. So if you're in a third party, Virgo, it looks like you are or your person is getting divorced and it looks like the two of you are coming together. But let's ask now, will Virgo come together? Will Virgo come together with someone with whom they were lovers while married or in another significant commitment? Let's see, what is the answer to this question? The moon card again, oh my God. Okay, spirit does not want to reveal too much here. The Four of Wands, here we go. The Four of Wands is repeating. So it looks like for many of you, one person's moving away from a marriage in which they're very much going to be the bad guy, quote unquote, and a family to enter another relationship. The Four of Swords now, the Four of Swords seems as though it was here. Yeah, Four of Swords twice. So there's a lot of healing that has to be done. Which is, you know, for everyone. Yeah, and the answer is yes. I did read that correctly. Somebody is leaving a marriage to come to a lover. The Page of Cups shows that there are children involved in this situation. The Hanged Man says that this is not going to go quickly. And your person, Virgo, whether it's you or your person, you have long-standing responsibilities. So you can't just bug out you're going to have a continuing relationship that looks due to children. The world card, okay, so you are closing out a cycle in a marriage. Again, that's come up twice, the sacred fire. So the sacred fire is, is very much indicating that, you know, this is a judgment card. Okay, 
Virgo, you don't like to have a bad reputation either. And the Judgment card, again, the Sacred Fire is Scorpio energy. The burning off of that which is dead wood. The Judgment card is here. The Judgment card is here underneath there. Again, big, big move. My gosh, life-altering, life-altering reading. Life-altering love reading. The Empress card, okay. I don't see an Ace of Wands here, so I don't see pregnancy. But what I see is desired by you, Virgo, is to manifest true love, something that you can really count on for a lifetime. There we go, the Lover's card again, okay. So you are leaving a marriage, you have left a marriage, or you will leave a marriage, according to this, or significant live-in relationship to go to... Um, another person. So very complex reading. I wish you the luck. I wish you the best of luck. It's very, very intricate. So I want to thank you for joining me today. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and share. Send comments, please. Put comments below so I really know what your stories were on this. Send me love. Bye-bye. Take care, Virgo.